apparently we're supposed to be getting some sort of snowmageddon crazy blizzard although I do find our weather apps here in Canada a bit over dramatic but I thought you know I better get outside and shoot a video before winter's upon us and I'm locked in my apartment Today I want to talk about starting your career in film and photography because if there's one question that I get asked most often it's where do I begin? How do I get into the film industry? How do I begin taking great photos? And I think there's one piece of advice that's so important, so crucial that you take time and time again. And that piece of advice is get a camera and start shooting. Even if you don't own one, you probably have an iPhone or you can borrow one. But get out there and start shooting. That's the most important thing. See, so often I think we're waiting for someone to call us up with that dream job. We think once we get that, then our career will begin. But it actually starts with us picking up a camera now and going out and shooting. You know, and sometimes when I'm talking to people who are frustrated with the career, I ask them, well, what are you shooting right now? And they'll say, well, nothing, because no one's hired me. I don't have any jobs right now. And you see, that's the problem. You're never gonna do your passion if you're waiting for someone to give you permission to do it. About five years ago, I was in this position in my film career. I wasn't working the jobs I wanted, I didn't even own a camera, and I was pretty disappointed with my portfolio. It didn't seem like I was going anywhere. And one night after one of the weddings that I was shooting, I still happened to have the camera that I was borrowing. And so I just decided to go out and I decided to shoot. I was kind of sick of shooting weddings and I wanted to shoot something new. And so I shot a little short film that night. And you know what happened with that film? Nothing, it was terrible. pretty embarrassed of it and you know the film's pretty terrible there's no plot you know I just went around my neighborhood with this crappy $50 slider the dolly wasn't even smooth it could barely move straight uh, I don't know what this shot is it's a rack focus to a, a faucet uh, that's beautiful here's uh, some more brick walls not my best work but I actually discovered something very valuable shooting that film that still sticks with me to this day. And that's that I love shooting dark, moody footage. See, I'd just been shooting corporate videos and weddings back then, and I didn't know that I actually loved that dark texture. And you can actually still see that in most of my work today. That's how I shoot. I love shooting low light, moody footage. And I'm so glad that I went out and shot that crappy little film because that pushed me to want to start shooting more and more like that. And I realized that I had the power to shoot things that I liked and I didn't have to wait for that to happen. Whee! So that's the thing, what was I talking about? I forget, I walked across a field here and my hands are falling off right now. But this aluminum is very, very cold. But as I was saying, that is the great thing that we actually have the control of our career we can make it move forward we don't have to wait for someone to come along with that job that we're hoping for we can actually get our career moving in that direction you know a couple years ago i really wanted to get into sports commercial directing i wanted to shoot these really cool nike sports commercials i was hoping to go that way but when i looked at my portfolio i didn't have any sports on it so why would a client want to hire me for something I've never done? I have no proven track record in that. They're gonna go look at the next director who has that type of work on his reel. So I realized I needed to shoot something sports related. And the next job that was offered to me was a tampon commercial. And you know, we could have just shot it the normal way and, and I could have kept on hoping to become a sports director, but we decided to convince the client to make it a super edgy sports style tampon commercial the best that we could and here's actually a little clip from the commercial And you know what came from that? The very next job that I got hired onto was a Nike commercial for the NBA and DeMar DeRozan. And it just goes to show, had I not shot that, I don't know if I would have got that Nike commercial. And that's the thing, if you are trying to go somewhere with your career, begin shooting and capturing the footage, the films, the photos, 
that will help you get there. If you want to be a car photographer, then go out there and shoot a car. Go onto Facebook and put a post, ask anyone if they have a Lamborghini or know an uncle with a nice car, and go shoot it. Go knock on the guy's door down the street who has a nice BMW and go shoot that. Whatever you're trying to create, whatever you're trying to become, start taking the steps to start capturing that now. But that's the best piece of advice I could give anyone, and that's start shooting now. Even if you're just going into your neighborhood in the middle of the night like I was, and shooting some dumb video where you're dollying and looking at, I don't know, a van or a wall or your Blackberry. Yeah, I'm dating myself here. But shooting those films is gonna help you learn what you like, what you don't like, how to use your camera better, how to edit properly. But that's so important and that's gonna lead to the next thing. So start shooting now and start shooting the stuff you like because people wanna hire someone who's passionate about their work. And if you're not shooting anything that you're passionate about, then no one's gonna think that you're gonna be passionate about their work. So get out there and film something that you love, photograph something that you like, do whatever you can, just start shooting now. I don't know how much you can see it, but it's actually really starting to snow here, and my hand is about to fall off. But, uh, so hey, make sure, yeah, I'm gonna go inside and warm up, but thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know maybe about the first film that you shot, or if you haven't shot a film, then stop watching this. Go out and shoot one. But uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, you gotta look at this. Since I shot the video, drove home, look what's happened. Look at this. Everything's white already. It's pouring. They're terrible. <laughs> uh, oh, we killed that plant yeah, months ago, but it's really dead now. Mm -hmm.